We did it. What's in the box? Oof. What a way to start the show. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Bill Bush of DramaRangeHeroes.com back here for another great episode of What's in the Box, where we unbox random golf gear, accessories, etc. on Chris McEwen's YouTube channel. Please go down below, hit subscribe, uh, hit that bell. Get more What's in the Box videos, our talk show, That Range Life, a show eh, sometimes about golf. Uh, chorus vlogs, gear talk, where we talk about, well, gear, and uh, give our takes on it. Yeah, all sorts of great things here on this channel, so make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, get notified when that's up. Maybe leave a comment if you feel like it, after you watch this, whatever, alright? Anyway, got a box today. Not really 100% sure what could be in here. Wasn't expecting it, so let's just see. Cut away from ourselves. Remember, I feel like we haven't been reminding you guys of that lately in our videos. Knife safety. Hmm. I always do that. Close your knife when you're done so you don't have an accident. Oh. Oh. It's a rangefinder. The Precision Pro R1 rangefinder. Heard a lot about it, don't know a ton. Let's take a look. All right, got the knife back out. Deal with this plastic wrap. This is a, this is a big box for a rangefinder, huh? Leaving it open in case I need it again. Oh, this is nice. This is pretty high quality packaging. Slide it out of the plastic sleeve. Oh, okay. There you go. Let's look at the content of this box. The contents of this box. Hard shell case, all right. Ooh. A different hook than I feel like you normally see on these, but check that out, all right. We'll open that up in a minute, see what's in there. And then the... Uh, Rangefinder itself, the R1. And I'm guessing here, based on that, if you can see that, maybe. It doesn't matter. I can just tell you. Power cord, rechargeable. I like this new trend. Rangefinders are going. Oh, hit the mic. Getting rid of the. Uh, Getting rid of the goofy battery and switching to USB chargeable. I also feel like. Um, that puts you in control more. You can charge up before you go out. Whatever, right? Last but not least, down on the bottom here, just paperwork kind of deal. Anything of note in there? Just more paperwork. All right. Okay. Oh. Comes with a 10% off your next purchase. Check that guy out. All right. Let's talk about this a little bit more. Actually, before we do that, let's uh, open it up, see if there's anything in here. There is a microfiber cleaning cloth for the lenses in here. All right. Nope, nothing in here. Good, I like that. Nice and basic. Rangefinders used to come with a million different accessories. I got the case, the rangefinder, a cord. Straightforward. All right. So there's a lot going on with the Precision Pro R1, so we're gonna take our time and work our way through it, all right? So, this guy, premium rangefinder, pretty affordable price. I wanna say it's somewhere around $320, give or take. Now, it has all the basics. It has slope, which you can turn on or off by this switch right here. Uh, pulse vibration technology, so when you lock onto a target, It'll it'll vibrate. All right, we've seen we're seeing that more and more uh, across across the market in affordable through premium rangefinders. It has that rechargeable battery. We figured out. We talked about stuck right in here, right under a flap, right under the lens that you look through. Okay, and then uh, magnetic grip. I'm guessing that's what this guy. Yep, yeah, where it says 
magnetic cart mount so you can just stick it to the cart right there Let's see see it you stick it here there you go all right so there's the basics. Now, let's get into the bonus features, the stuff that sets the Precision Pro apart. So to get a Precision Pro R1, excuse me. First and foremost, you can download the Precision Pro Golf app, all right? Put that on your phone, and this device will use Bluetooth to connect to your phone and communicate with that app. Once you're there, boy, are there a lot of things it can do. So first and foremost, it has 37,000 preloaded golf courses worldwide, okay? So with that communication now, it can give you GPS distances. So when you're looking through, it'll like it'll lock in and tell you what you're looking at, but we'll also give you front, back, and center distances based on what it's getting from the app. That's pretty cool too. Uh, an another one that's wild, and I, at first I'm like, oh, there must be some crazy science in here I don't know about. There's a technology or a feature they call wind assist. This tells you how much wind you're dealing with and then if you should club up, should you club down, what change should you make based on the wind. Uses real-time wind data from your location, pops it in here via Bluetooth communication using the app. That's pretty neat. Um, the slope stuff, right? Slopes adjusting for how much downhill, how much uphill, etc. Does that make your distance change? Okay, great. But they have what they call my slope data. This works with, uh, I'm guessing, I, I don't know. I haven't used it yet. I've only read about it. You preload in the app somewhere. I'm assuming your launch angle, your, your average launch angle, spin rates, ball speeds, that kind of stuff. So it knows a little bit about your game, unless it's like a based on this type of spin rate or this type of launch angle, like this is what we suggest. But if it's your personal data, that'll be pretty cool. So like, okay, I generally launch my driver 12 and a half degrees, 11 and a half degrees. What would you recommend here, R1 rangefinder? So it takes that and it gives you suggestion based on that, but it'll also give you a suggestion with that slope based on temperature, humidity, and altitude. So that's a lot of data for usual, you know, basic point and shoot kind of stuff. Now, I have no idea how it works, how well it works, how accurate it is, how reliable it is, how easy this is all gonna be. Um, that's, there's a lot going on there and it's, if it all works great and it's easy, that's pretty exciting. That's a lot of good stuff in a $320 rangefinder package. I'm not mad at that. You know, I can't, I can't really tell here as we're shooting how good the optics are. We'll have to figure that out. But the good news is, what do I do at driverangeheroes.com? I review golf gear. So, put this to the test. Yeah, I know we're in the winter here, but we're doing some destination golf. We'll, we'll have plenty of time to test this guy out and uh, see how well all that stuff works. I'm really curious. Can't wait to see it. Uh, this, this could be big. Could be big, all right? Uh, I don't think there's a, too much else to cover. Go to JerryRangeHeroes.com, read all our content. We'll have a review up for this soon. Um, at Range Heroes on all the social media. Do me a favor, since this is Chris's YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell, but follow him at Chris McEwen, all the social medias. He's doing great. He does a great Golf Origin Stories podcast. He's always doing cool stuff. The guy's the best. Check him out. All right. Precision Pro R1 Rangefinder. Can't wait to try it for myself, see what it's all about, and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.